Hello everyone, this is Navin Tamishati and welcome to Coding World. So in this video, um, in today's video, I will show you how to update fields like the short description or a description field in service portal from scratch. Okay, so we will be using a custom widget that I have already created. I will show you how to navigate it and uh, navigate to that particular widget and open the editor. And um, I will guide you through designing an input field. So uh, this is how the input field looks like and uh, I will design one more uh, uh, button here. Uh, which I have created um, and uh, by clicking on the button I will uh, add in a click function to this this particular button and querying the table and updating the specific record using glide record um, so first of all what I will do is I will uh, take an example of uh, uh, incident table okay and uh, I will show you the um, output actually so hello wall on click of the update button so this has been updated first of all i am taking a um, static value uh, not the dynamic one in upcoming videos i will show you how we can do with that with the uh, uh, with the dynamic value okay by taking the dynamic record uh, record the society and um, by using that one and uh, this is how the code looks like i will show you how to create it uh, input field and uh, button click and uh, little bit of css i don't want to go deep into the css so i will skip the css for now uh, it will be a little bit of the alignment etc and i will show the client script as well as uh, server script okay so before we drive into the um, uh, code uh, please make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel it uh, helps me to motivate um, it motivates me to do more videos um, if you enjoy this video please do um, give a thumbs and uh, feel free to comment uh, below if there are any um, topics you would like to see so uh, especially related to service now ui builder portal angular and uh, javascript html and css if you go to my uh, previous videos uh, other videos you will get to know so i have a, a good experience working with uh, uh, other technologies as well i mean frameworks as well so let us jump into the video So welcome back. So as I shown you, um, we will be uh, starting from the scratch. So first of all, I will uh, try to add input field first. Later we will go with the uh, button. Okay, integration of the button. So let me click on enter and put input field class. So if you want to know more about uh, form control, etc., etc., you can. Uh, ping me on Instagram. We have already uh, we have a Instagram channel with the name of uh, Coding World, and uh, for the code also you can uh, uh, directly approach me on the Instagram, or you can drop a mail to the uh, Coding World uh, at the rate uh, gmail dot com. Okay. Uh, So here uh, to bind the data we need ng model okay we will write ng model is equal to i need to use let me close this uh, server script first and we will use c dot short okay and uh, we need a button right so for that what i will do is we will add a button here we'll write the name will be up, update okay and here we will write class i have used the bootstrap cdn code um in upcoming videos i will let you know how we can use the bootstrap 5 or 6 i mean 5 4 uh in portal uh i will show you in the upcoming videos like how we can use the cdn complete uh, css uh, uh, compressed code, uh, compressed uh, uh, classes. Okay, I'll just uh, just info info for that. And here we will write the uh, and we need to write the type also. Okay, and here we will write the um, click 
click functionality okay and g what we'll do is okay i'll write and click is equal to c dot mm, we'll take it as an update shot shot dsp and it will be We got both of them, but uh, I think the classes are okay. Let us save it, and before saving it, I think it will get an error. So let us uh, declare a function here. So c dot will copy the name anyway. So what the errors is it called? It's a function, and uh, we'll write a console dot log, and we will check whether it is printing correctly or not. Okay. So I'll, I'll take the this. Okay. We'll save it. Let us run it. And I'll look and inspect as well. Meanwhile, go to the console. Yes, it is reflecting here. So let me add something. coding wall and I clicked on the update button and see uh, we are able to see uh, something ha coding wall has been printed in the console so you see the description right I mean in the functionality if you click on the uh, name uh, line number we will directly navigate it to the uh, sources and we can see this is the actual console now okay so now we are able to see this one and right now I would like to um, update this so to do that um, Till here, uh, we don't have any use with the HTML. Uh, HTML is done. Now we will simply add some if condition functionality here and uh, c dot server dot update. Okay. So what I will do is um, we need to write c dot. Uh, first of all, uh, we will add this uh, particular variable. We will assign to uh, we will assign the value to the uh, data dot data dot description. Okay. So to do that, uh, c dot data dot I will use the same name. I'll use the same name here. Is equal to okay. And and uh, we need to give an action. It is mostly not needed, but we will try to give this. Okay. C dot data dot action. If you have the multiple functionalities, then we need to use uh, certain things like uh, action or something with the with the particular names. Okay, I will tell you how to use this. Update short DSP. Okay. Now here, after that, we need to use c dot server dot dot update, and uh, this will be having a callback function, which is dot then. And inside it, we will be writing a function. Okay, function here. We insert this function just to confirm. We will write an alert message. Okay, alert. And inside this alert, we will write uh, short this is updated. Okay. right now this is okay let us see whether the functionality is working and it is triggering correctly or not okay let us go to the home home page just refresh the page i think it got saved oh it is saved now i will refresh it again so now uh, i will enter hello and click on the update button yes uh, we are getting the alert message so the functionality is working fine okay so i will click the okay button now we will be um, creating the server script now okay so let me write the input field uh, so as i said right uh, why we are using the c dot uh, data dot action so if you have the multiple functionalities if you want to only trigger particular function 
you need to uh, take some if conditions uh, that particular if condition will trigger that particular script include or uh, uh, trigger a particular uh, glide record so i will show you the in the functionality like uh, okay so this is not needed this line i will remove this so here if data dot no sorry uh, it's not data it's actually input input dot action is double equal to and it will be a string you can use triple equal to as well to do in a strict uh, to use a strict uh, condition okay so here uh, first of all we will check whether we are getting the uh, um, input field value or not okay so for that i will add a console.log inside that console.log i will simply take the they uh, install input dot this name okay because it is saving in the data so if you directly trigger the uh, data dot uh, short description we will get an error as an undefined okay first of all let it be let us save this one okay now i will go to the home page and i will refresh this one the ui okay now i'll try to add let us go to the console first Okay, I will remove everything. Now I will add hello. Click on the update. See, so this is the client script, uh, server script we have, and uh, the, uh, it is printing the correct uh, uh, input field value. Okay, so let us continue with the glide record now. Okay, so where gr is equal to and new slide record just a second glide record and inside this we need to add the table name as i said i will be taking an example of incident table so let me take the incident table name table name as incident table later we will write the gr dot get uh, inside this we will write the uh, Swiss ID we need to pass the Swiss ID of that particular record okay later uh, I will take the Swiss ID uh, before that I will complete the code once later we will just uh, change the values okay so here we will uh, write the short uh, first of all we'll go with the description description, description is equal to input dot description okay i have written the description input dot description okay now this is the value sorry my my bad i have taken as a short description and i'm writing the description let me take this uh, we can change it again uh, by seeing the values okay um gr description later we will write gr dot uh it's no oh, let, let us can reconfirm whether it is uh, printing the okay i think it is not needed we don't need to add the uh, gs dot add info message because it is already getting updated we have already seen in the console so we will go with the gr dot update okay and we will simply the value will be get updated okay so here i need to add one one particular swiss id right um here in the get so i will go to the instance table i already have one one particular instance which is already open you can also navigate to the incident underscore list if you are new to service now and uh, you can find out we can take any 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 one of that okay so i have already opened one of the records so i'm just taking this one okay just copy the swiss id and uh, you can also update with the number also whatever the query you are doing that is important okay so for now i am taking the swiss id that will directly uh, uh, point to this particular uh, incident record okay so i am going to the editor i am just adding this swiss id here okay in uh, gr.get and i will save this let me go to the home page now i will refresh this one so let me refresh this one as well let us see what is the description field description field hello coding one i'll just write 
hi hello world okay this is a common word which every developer use when they are starting with an <laughs> with a new functionality or learning new functionality let me update this um, i think it is updated and we got the alert message i'll click okay and if i go to the back end see it is changed to hello world okay if i want to change this if we click double click we can see the short underscore description let me change the field and let us try with the different one okay i'm going to the back end i mean to the server script and here what i will do is i will simply change the instead of description we will change we will write short underscore and we will save this file okay and again we will go to the back end i mean in the to the home page and we will refresh it we will try something else okay this is coding wall i admin okay let me update this and i clicked okay and if i go to the back end and if i see see this has been changed this is showing us this this is coding wall admin okay so whatever um, the text i am adding it in the short description field and then clicking on the update button it is simply updating in the back end record so this is the static way and uh, in the upcoming videos we will do with the um, uh, dynamic way by uh, the dynamic by using a uh, record uh, in from the list and we can directly change the short description from the front end only from by doing it from the uh, service portal okay so thank you guys uh, please do subscribe don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, uh, please leave a thumbs and uh, uh, do comment on the video uh, in the comment section below uh, so that uh, if you need any any new videos or on, on any any topic related to the service portal ui builder or portal or uh, angular or uh, javascript html or css you can simply uh, add it in the comments and you can reach me out uh, in, to my channel uh, which i have already a page uh, uh, which is uh, coding wall in the instagram and uh, you can um, drop a mail to my mail id which is uh, codingwall.com okay uh, sorry codingwall at the gmail.com okay happy coding bye